you know, I learned a lot from that trip to the Marine Corps. Um, you know, we talked to, and one of the great things about being at HP is that I come from the former EDS background where we manage big enterprises for our, our customers. And you learn a lot from talking to these customers and some common themes that I've heard throughout the last couple of years that I think is worth sharing because there's still big grand challenges that I think we've yet to tackle. One is really the, the ideas around risk management. If you look at other industries, like financial industry, they have a much more sophisticated understanding and grasp of risk and understanding and modeling risks than we do. So for example, if you wanted to get health insurance, you can call uh, your insurance company and to give them your characteristics. Asian, kind of tubby, you know, have two kids, they'll tell you, your risk of dying by 50 is $25 a month. They have a much, they have a much more sophisticated understanding of risk of how to model it, understand it, and do their business around it than we do in IT. If you think about IT, you know, the way we make decisions is, well, this is more likely to happen than that. This is more of a threat than this. And we use a very subjective, qualitative way of doing things. I think those are the things, if really going to enable our CIOs and leaders in this group, we need to be able to provide you with tools and ways to look at risk in a way that's just as rigorous and robust as other industries. And that's one of the big bed areas for HP. When we look at security, and HP has one of the last standing industrial labs out there, um, that's one of the main areas, big bed areas for us, is how do we provide the CIOs and the IT shops a way to understand risk as just as robustly as other industries. Um, kind of related to that is we think about, and HP is a technology company, it's a big one at that. Um, you know, we think about security and technology in kind of three lenses. You look at technology, people, and processes, yet we so often focus on two of them, technology and processes, because they're things that are tangible and we can understand and change. People are much harder things to change, and I, I kind of went to graduate school studying psychology and got my graduate degrees there, and it's one of the hardest things to understand about any organization and how security functions is that um, people are irrational, and they'll do things no matter how many controls you place, um, and no matter what you do, things are going to happen. Um, so how do we understand that and put that in the context of risk so that you can't accept some level of risk, as you mentioned um, with Robert Hansen, he had all the appropriate clearances and all the appropriate background checks, all the polygraphs. So how do we understand it in a way that allows our CIOs to make good decisions and accept the level of risk that's appropriate to them? Um, some things that, uh, it, uh, the hard challenges that I hear is the threats are real. The APT's out there and, you know, with one of our new acquisitions, Tipping Point, we look at their threat intelligence systems. Um, they're in the billions. But how do we balance that in a way that allows us to have an appropriate amount of spending and security that balances your, the IT requirements for the mission. I think right now, at the current state it is, we, our CIOs and CISOs don't really have a good sense of whether you're over or underspending on, on, based on, on IT security based on your understanding of risk. That's another area that we're working on, is to actually give the tools um, as HP and the HP enterprise services providers to give um, the folks that are in the leadership positions a way to understand risk, for what's appropriate for them, and make quick decisions on them. I don't have answers to all of these questions. I think I have some, and I'm sure the partners and industry members uh, have uh, answers as well. And that's why I love coming to these kinds of forums to actually have an open discussion about them, because hopefully to together over time, we'll come up with some good answers that solves these hard problems. Anyway, thank you for coming. Look forward to discussion. <laughs>